right, my name is Laura and welcome to yoga. Yoga is simply bringing together breath and movement. Yoga means to join. And so that's what we're going to do today. So no matter how comfortable you are, what your abilities are, it doesn't matter. Just have fun with me. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and really plant yourself into your seat and sit up nice and tall. Like I have a string on the top of your head and you're trying to lift the top of your head up towards your ceiling and relax your shoulders. Everybody knows what sound the bee makes, right? So let's go ahead and do a little bit of bee breathing. So bring your hands over your chest. Good. And take a big breath in. And on your exhale, make the bee sound. Good, let's do that again. Two more times, big breath in. Exhale. underneath your hands one more time last time big breath in and good all right now we're going to bring our hands to our bellies bring your hands to your bellies keep yourself nice and grounded and imagine that your stomach is a big balloon let's take a big inhale together feel your balloon expand underneath your hands can you feel that and exhale let the balloon deflate. Good. Two more times. Big breath in. Feel the balloon expand. Exhale. Feel it deflate as you pull your belly button towards your spine. One last time. Big inhale. Good. And exhale. Feel the balloon deflate. Beautiful breathing. All right. Now bring your palms together and go ahead and rub them really, really, really quickly. You're generating a lot of heat on your palms. Good, now take your warm palms and gently press them into your eye socket and let your shoulders relax. Just feel the heat in your eyes. Nice, now bring your palms back together, generate a little bit more heat, and then bring your palms to your cheeks and right underneath the cheekbones by your face. And this is gonna seem really weird, but squish your face just a little bit. Good, massaging your face. Nice, now bring your fingertips right to the top of your head and then just tippity tap, tip, 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 tap. Good, you're gonna feel yourself start to energize, start to wake up. Nice. Good, now bring your hands back to your lap and sit up nice and tall again and relax your shoulders. Everybody bring your arms down by your side. It's time for a sunrise and sunset breathing. So bring your arms up over your head, let the sun rise. And once it's risen, guess what? It's time to wake up and then slowly let the sunset arms come down by your side as your shoulders relax. Good, two more times. Let's do that together. Big breath in, let the sun rise. And exhale, arms float down, sun is setting. And last time to wake yourself up, big breath in, sun is rising. Clap your hands and let the sun set as the arms float down. Good, and then bring your hands back to your lap. Place yourself into your seat, nice and comfy, and bring the top of your head up towards your ceiling. Good, now let's grab the right side of our chair. Really hold on to it. And then bring your left arm up and over your left ear like you're drawing a rainbow across the sky. Good, nice stretch on the left side and then reach your fingertips further to the right. And inhale back to center, nice and slow. Good, and other side, bring your right arm up and over, get that nice stretch underneath your right arm. Good, both seats are planted into the chair. Good, inhale back to center. Let's do that two more times each side. Good, using your breath to guide you. Good, making those beautiful arches. Good, and then come to the left. One last time, back to center. Come to the right, stretch, stretch, stretch. Back to center. Good, and then last time to the left. Really reach the fingertips. Good, and come back to center. All right, plant yourself back into your seat and then lift the top of your head up toward the ceiling one more time. Hands are back on your lap and take a big breath in. Now we're going to lift our gaze up to the sky. 
Good, gently press your chest forward. We call this a cow pose. And then inhale, bring your chin to your chest and round your back, round your back. This is a cat. Good, two more times. Lift your chin, lift your chest. Keep breathing with me. Exhale, chin to chest, round your back. Last time, big breath in. Lift your gaze, chest forward. And exhale, chin to chest. Beautiful yogis, you're doing such a great job. Hang in there with me. All right, here we go. Sweep your arms up. Way, 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 way up. Good. And I want you to reach both hands up toward the ceiling like your teachers asked you a question and you know the answer and you want to show them that you know what you've got. Good. So really stretch your fingertips up and we're going to start to climb the mountain. So right arm reaches, then left arm reaches, right arm reaches. Good. A couple more times each side. I really want you to get to the top. Good, keep climbing, keep reaching. <laughs> Excellent, everybody. Now both hands back up and, uh-oh, you've got an itch in the center of your back. What are you gonna do? Oh, reach your right hand down. It's right down the center of your back. Walk your fingertips down. You can't quite reach it. Good, so take this hand and gently, gently, gently press the elbow down your back. Good, lift your chest a bit, lift your chin. Good, you've got it on that side. Reach your fingertips back up and uh-oh, other side. You've got the itch down the center of your back. Really try to reach it. Good, you can move your shoulders side to side a little bit here. Open up the chest. Good, fingertips back up. Reach for the stars. Good, and on an exhale, bring your hands back down to your lap. All right, we have one more posture or an asana as we call it in yoga. An asana is a posture. So this is our final one, seated in our chair. So I'm going to go ahead and turn, but you do not need to. You can stay facing forward. So once again, we're looking for that nice straight spine, top of the head reaching up for the ceiling, hands in your lap. And if you feel comfortable, go ahead and close your eyes. You don't have to. I just want you to bring something to your mind that you really, really love. It could be your favorite pet or smoothie or milkshake or somebody that you really love in your house. So top of the head is lifting up. Get the visual in your mind. And I just want you to gently bring your arm back behind you, but you're keeping both cheeks like firmly planted into your seat. Good. And now slowly start to look over your right shoulder. And guess what? There's that object that you love. And I want you to really, really reach for it. Really reach for it as you feel your spine gently twist. Good. One more big breath in. Reach one more time. Good. Exhale. Bring yourself back to the center. And let's just do the other side. So find your visual, something you really love. And then just reach your left arm behind you. Good. Really stretch for it. I want you to keep breathing here. Good. Reach for it. Reach. Good, and then bring yourself back to center. Let's just do that one more time each side. Twist to the right. Good, stretching your right arm back, lifting the top of your head up toward the sky, back to center, and then just reach your left arm back. Find your spine twist, find the object that you love, reach for it, and back to center. Good. Now let's go ahead and stand up. All right, now we're next to our chair and just sort of bring your awareness to the area around you. I don't want you to knock into anything. So bring your hands down by your side and we call this the eyes of our elbows. So turn your eyes of your elbows forward and relax your shoulders. Good, and then bring your hands right here to heart center and go ahead and interlace all 10 fingers and then you're going to release your index finger and then shoot it up toward the sky like a rocket. So really, really lengthen up here. And then we're just gonna simply move side to side. So we're gonna to bend to the right and come back to center. Really try to touch the ceiling here and then bend to the left. Good, and then just move back and forth like you're a windshield wiper on the car. Just moving left and right at your own pace. Good, each time you come to center, I want you to lengthen up toward the ceiling. Good, couple more times. Keep breathing. Now stop in the center and really lengthen up here. And now we're going to hold it. So come up and then you're going to come up and over to the right and press your left hip to the left. And both feet say really, really planted into the ground. 
Good, really lengthen. Can you come down one more inch? Good, and then come back to center. Big breath in, lengthen up, lengthen up. And on your exhale, up and over to the left. Good, you can even use your left hand to pull the right hand a little bit further and come back to center. Nice. Okay, now we're just going to drop our head back and look up toward our fingertips, up toward the sky. Good, take a big breath in, rocket ship your fingertips toward the ceiling. And then exhale, draw your arms back just an inch or two and feel a little baby back bend here. Good, one more breath in, keep your gaze up and exhale, drop your head back a little further. Nice work, come back to center. Good, and then just simply bring your hands to heart center and bend forward from the waist. Good, and see if you can touch the tops of your toes. Good, and if you can't, that's so okay. Just bend your knees and bring your stomach to your thighs, just like this. Good, and then just work to lift the hips. Nice, keep your fingertips on top of your shoes if you can. And then start to gently move your knees right, left, right, left. Never forgetting to breathe and relaxing your shoulders. Now let your head go like it's a big helium balloon and nod your head yes and shake your head no. Good. And then just slowly use your hands to crawl all the way back up and then you're back to standing. Nice work. Our next posture or asana, as you know, a yoga posture is called an asana. We are going to balance. So let's give it a try. You can step away from your chair. You can face forward. You don't need to move like I did, but I just wanted you to be able to see exactly what I'm doing. So really press your left foot into the earth. So your left leg is nice and strong and your top of the head again is reaching for the ceiling. The eyes of your elbows are forward to open up your chest. Now just simply pick up your right foot. You're trying to bring your thigh parallel to the floor and then just flex your toes towards your face. Good, you're just trying to stand here for a few seconds, but if you want another balance challenge, go ahead and try to close your eyes. That could throw everything off, but just give it a go. Whoa, okay, I've lost it. That's okay, I'm gonna pick my foot back up and try again. Good, try to close your eyes. It's amazing what a difference it makes. Ooh, okay, bring your right foot down. Nice work, way to, way to fight for it. Let's do the other side. Really plant your right foot into the ground and pick up your left foot. That seems so simple. Good, and you're just working on strengthening your right leg. Good, now try to close your eyes. Whoa, there I go. I couldn't hold it, but I'm gonna try it one more time. I'm gonna pick up my left foot. I'm gonna flex the toes toward my face. I'm going to keep my chest lifted, and most importantly, I'm going to keep breathing. Nice work, good. Now let's go ahead and turn toward the front again. If you're, if you're not there already, if you're already there, just stay where you are. And just take a big inhale and a long exhale. Good, now let's fly. Let's all fly together. So point your right toes and step forward, a little baby step. Good, and then pick up your left foot behind you as your body comes forward just a couple of inches and then work to lift your arms. Keep flying, find a nice strong, strong standing leg. Good, and then put your left foot down, right foot meets it, and I'm gonna to turn to the side this time so you can see. So now we're pointing the opposite foot and lifting the opposite leg. So keep flying, good. Lift the leg behind you, strengthen that standing leg, and lift it one more time. Lift it, lift it. Good, and change, foot down, foot back, arms down, beautiful. Good, one final posture. Let's do it together. This is tree pose. This is gonna ground us. It's gonna calm us down and get us ready for the rest of our day. So once again, plant your left foot and bring your right toes up. Good, so place your toes on the floor. That's a good way to start. And then just bring your hands to heart center. That's good. If you want more of a challenge, you can bring your right foot up onto your calf. Good, wherever you are, foot on the calf or foot on the floor, I want you to grow your branches. 
Grow your branches up toward the sky. Maybe lift the chin and lift your gaze. Good, and just keep lengthening up toward the sky. Sky's the limit. Everything is possible here. Good, and bring your hands back to heart center. Plant your right foot and come up on your left toes. Good, or bring your left foot to your left calf muscle, whatever feels best. And then grow your branches. Grow them nice and tall. Lift your gaze. Good, one more big breath in all together. Big collective breath. And exhale, hands to heart center. Feet are planted and arms down by your side. So our final breathing exercise is called four square breathing. And most yoga practices begin with a breathing exercise and they end with a calming breathing exercise. This helps you clear your mind and go out into the world very gently and softly with a lot of positive energy. So let's do this together. If you feel uncomfortable while you're doing this, you can take a break, but it's really, really fun. And I'll talk you through every piece of it. So go ahead and stand up, sit up nice and tall, top of the head reaching back up. Your string is there again, pulling you up, and you're really comfortable in your chair. Good, and lick your lips and swallow and begin. You're going to inhale for one, two, three, four. Now hold your breath for one, two, three, four. Good, exhale, one, two, three, four, hold your breath for one, two, three, four. Good, two more rounds. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold your breath. Exhale, one, two, three, four, hold your breath. Last round, inhale, one, two, three, four, Hold and exhale. One, two, three, four. Thank you, Yogi, so much for joining me today. Have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day. And namaste, meaning the light in me sees and appreciates and cares for the light in you.